Algebra 1, Lesson 36. This one is on the distributive property of rational expressions that contain positive exponents and then minus signs and negative exponents. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's take what I just taught you. Remember how you found the um, greatest common factor of them? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to take and you're going to do the opposite version of it which is we are going to do the distributive property, okay? Okay, goodness. Okay, so what you're going to do is go t this times this. So the top times this top. X to the four. So this would be like four X's. Two X's here and two X's here, which makes four X's. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, now the bottom times the bottom y cubed. over y cubed minus, we're done with that. Now we're going to go here, top with the top, bottom with the bottom. So let's do top with the top, and this becomes 3, this would be like a 1, 1 times 3 is 3, x squared y cubed, because there's no x's to multiply mm -hmm. and there's no y's to multiply. Y got it? squared m. Over, yep, y squared m. Okay? And that's exactly that's what the answer was. The answer. Okay, that's easy. Um, let me look at something real quick. Yes. Okay, great. Um, now, next thing you're going to do is saying something. Pause. Now it's going to say pause it. Okay, sorry about that. Let's look at this, okay? And remember how I taught you canceling last lesson? Yep. Can anything cancel out top to bottom on this one? No. no. Can anything cancel out top to bottom on this one? Yes, the y's. This would be like, you may want to extend it, x, x, and then y, 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 over y, y, m. So the y's cancel out. So you would just get 3x squared, there's two of them, and a y, over the m. Okay? So I'm just going to take this and put 3x squared over y over m. Okay. And that becomes the final answer. You see how we did that? So you not only do you have to just do the distributive property, then once you get the distributive property, look at the top and bottom and the top and bottom. Okay, numerator, denominator, and see if there's anything you can cancel out. Got it? Okay. All right, let's try a few more since that was almost tricky for me. All right, here comes another one. M over Z. All right, and then it goes AXP over ZK. No, I keep looking at all one. AXP over MK minus, and then it just says 2M4P4. Four, four. What should I do with this? MAXP. This right here, I need to do something. First. I'm going to make it over mm -hmm. 1. Oh, because if it yeah. just said minus 5, 5 over 1 is the same thing, yeah. right? So we want to put it over 1. So I'm going to make it 2M. I'm going to rise it up. Over one. Enter. Okay, got it? Yeah. Alright, now, to show your property, M A X P. M times A X P over Z, whoops, Z M K minus 2, two and then two. there are four M's here and one M here, which makes M to the fifth, P to the fourth. Over Z to the Z. Or Z, one Z. Z to the one, whatever. Okay? So it looks like that might be the only thing that we can do. Can't cross it, cross out. Nothing to cross out. Is that right? Is that right? Yeah, that'd be the answer. The answer is AX, MAX. Oh! See what we did? Oh, you're gonna cross out the M's. The M's. Good. And there's nothing to cross out over here. So, final answer would just be I'm gonna take out the M's. AXP over ZK minus 2M, 5th power, P to the 4th, Z. 
Do I see how easy that is to miss something? Mm -hmm. So make sure you're paying attention. Okay, next, last problem for this type of uh, distributed property expanding. A, B over C squared multiplied by A, X, B over C plus this 2BX, I'm just going to put over 1, since I didn't have anything, minus 4 over C squared. All right. Now, so you can do X, A squared, B squared. X, and then there's two A's and two B's. C cubed. Over C, the third power, the C and the C. Good. Plus, two. done with this one. 2A. 2A. B squared. X. A squared. X. Good. Over. C squared. C squared. You can put 1C squared if you want to. Minus. 4AB. 4AB. Over. C to 4. C to the 4th power. Now, remember, look from top to bottom. You're good there. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let me check. Make sure I got all the right answers. AX squared B squared over C cubed, 2AB squared X over C squared, minus 4AB over C cubed. Yes, we did. Alright, final answer. Alright, now we're moving to the second part of that lesson, which is minus signs and negative exponents. Okay, we're going to be doing six problems. A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay? Four square, four negative square, negative four square, negative four square with parentheses, negative four negative squared, and negative four negative squared. Mm -hmm. Woo! Okay, let's start with the easiest and it goes down to the last. Okay? 16. This would be four times four, which is 16, right? Mm -hmm. Now, do you remember when we have negative exponents, what we do? You just pretend it's not there, and you do the, do you do the problem, and then you add it at the end? No, that's when the negative is over on the outside. Okay. When the negative is on the exponent, you're actually going to write this as its um, reciprocal. So negative 4. Reciprocal. 1 fourth, 1 fourth. 1 fourth, and then that takes away the negative, mm -hmm. just so you know, and then this 2 comes out here. Okay. So it's still 4 to the second so power, be, but this negative makes it become its reciprocal. And do 116. Okay, so then the final answer is 1 over 16. This one is where yeah. you so cover up 16. this. Whenever you see a negative number and it's not within the parentheses, you cover it up and go 4 times 4 is 16, and then you have the negative. Okay? This one is negative 4 times negative 4. We're going to do it twice. So it would be positive 16. Positive 16. Good. This one is, we cover this up. But and how did I do this? One fourth. I make it 1 fourth over 2, right? Mm -hmm. so and 16. that becomes 1 16th. Negative. Then I remove it and I get a negative. See how we did that one? Mm -hmm. So to get rid of this, you make it its reciprocal. Yeah. Then put it over 2. And then you pull out your negative. Okay? This one... The negative is within the 4, and then this negative 2, how do we get rid of that negative 2? You go two? 1 fourth. Uh-huh. It becomes 1 over this 4th right here with a positive, with a 2. Mm -hmm. See how we did that? So this negative makes this to change its reciprocal, so we which is 1 fourth, negative, negative 1 fourth. And then I still have my 2 out here, so then this equals 1 over negative 4 times negative 4, so you 16. Okay? And that's lesson 36. But you got to make sure you're taking it step by step. Okay? All right, I wanted to show you how to do problem F since it did not teach it. Okay? So this is um, on the outside, so we're going to cover it for now. Okay? Now, do you remember me telling you how to do negative 3 when it's on here? Mm -hmm. What happens? Make it do a fraction. The, it, this four. negative 4 it becomes four. its reciprocal. 1 4. Okay, so we're going to leave the 1 on the top for now. Okay? 
And since this is negative 3, then this number changes to its reciprocal. And so negative 4 becomes negative 1 fourth. Yes. Right? And since it's in parentheses, we're going to keep it in parentheses. And then that took away the negative by doing it like that. And so that adds 3. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, if I multiply negative times negative times negative, what answer am I going to get? Negative. A negative answer. So we know that our answer is going to be a negative answer. Now, 1 times 1 times 1 is? 1. 1. And 4 times 4 times 4? 64. 64. So I get a negative 164. Okay? Now, that's my answer, but then when I remove that, what happens? Negative, it means the opposite of a negative is a positive. Mm -hmm. So this answer is a positive 1 over 64. But that is just this answer. Now this is over 1. Now that doesn't make sense, does it? But if I write it like this, 1 divided by 1 over 64. Okay, I'm going to make this 1, a 1 over 1. And then when I take this multiplication or division and make it that, then that changes its reciprocal. Remember that rule? Mm -hmm. And then 1 times 64 is 64, and 1 times 1 is 1. Final answer, positive 64. Okay? okay? So that's how you do L. Whew, that was tough.